What is the best advice you've ever given to a young person, to a child, to maybe your child, maybe a neighbor's kid, whoever it might be? What is something that you share with them that you can point back and say, you know what, that was some great advice. Now let's flip it a little bit. What's the best advice that you ever got when you were younger? Someone had to tell you something or someone had to share something with you that you thought, you know what, that's something that I can live with and that's something that I can remember at all times. It's given to us, it's passed down to us, and this is the idea behind Proverbs. Solomon was the wisest man who ever lived, and he had an opportunity to get whatever he wanted from God, and he asked for wisdom and knowledge. And the book of Proverbs is here to give us that same knowledge. Verse four of it says, for giving prudence to those who are simple, knowledge and discretion to the young. Now, you may not see yourself as simple. I hopefully don't see myself as simple, but at the same time, the more that I read Proverbs, the more I realize that I am very simple. I don't understand things the way I should understand them. I don't have the knowledge or the wisdom to handle different situations the way I would like to. And that's what Proverbs does for us. It hands us out to those that are simple, those that are young, those that are not so complex. And guess what? It then allows us to give that same wisdom and knowledge to pass forward to someone who needs that help in different areas. Proverbs is meant to fill us up with that wisdom, that knowledge. So here we go. Once again, I want you to take tonight and I want you to read the first chapter of Proverbs. Don't go past it. Just read this first chapter, spend some time with it, rest in it, and pray about it, and we'll talk tomorrow.